This is my first Wagner opera to conduct and I think it's a great one to start with because it, it is early, it's a sort of the first one of his mature operas where you really hear the intensity of his musical style. It's, it's not short but it's one of the most concise and it feels like yeah, an extraordinary dramatised for dark fairy tale actually. The overture is so evocative, uh, the, you know, the horn call and the offstage horn calls as well of, of something that you know, that it's based in a folk tradition, but it's more majestic and more empowered. I think this opera is great for an audience because it's, it's a combination of things which, even in Wagner's work, is, is, is kind of unique. And that's, it's, it's a folk tale, but it's elevated to this extraordinary romantic quality. And it's those two things together, which I think for a director and a conductor is kind of a juggling act. But if you get it, it's a piece which is, on one hand, amazingly immediate to an audience but on the other, incredibly elevating as well. The sound of this piece is incredibly impactful and it's important that you know those opening, that opening string tremolo and those, those opening horn calls are incredibly impressive. It's a large orchestra, it's not the largest, it's not as big as a, as, um, as a Rosenkavalier or a, you know, other, other, other later Germanic operas. But the chorus is large and it's, um, when you hear those sailors at the beginning and they're real, they're a kind of visceral, for Jonathan's idea of them is that they're a, they're a kind of heaving mass of, of sort of testosterone actually, and that needs to sound absolutely extraordinary. The Fine Dutchman is fundamentally about the romance of a girl and what she conjures up in her mind, certainly in this production, um, to get through what are the mundane areas of her life. I think Wagner himself was always a massive advocate of doing pieces in the language of the place they're at because he was all about immediacy of language. And this house has one of the greatest Wagner traditions in the world, stretching back through, through Reggie Goodall's Ring and you know, recent performances of Parsifal, which were absolutely extraordinary. And, and I think the music of Wagner with our deep pit and that sort of bloom you get on the sound can sound really extraordinary here and I think he's one of our, the composers that we enjoy putting on more than anything.